Good morning guys and today we're going to test this little oven as I said before this the inferno oven uh, so we'll see we're gonna see the performance we we'll see how long it's gonna take we just switch off now we'll see how it's gonna take it to to get in, in temperature also I want to say to you guys if you buy any stone bake oven wood fire electric or any type of the board it's kind of uh, bake stone on the first few days it wouldn't be that hot so no panic if you see that this is losing temperature because you need to rise the moisture inside so even today I'm not pretending it's gonna be so hot the base because it's still new so it takes a couple of days before the, the stone bake dries up and give you good, good performance in. also it's very important the curing the curing as well is important as well if you check my oven I got already in one year I uh, cure it for four or five days, it doesn't have no crack at all. It probably in the future it might have some, but it's very important to cure in the oven, especially proper wood fire oven. This is a uh, this is an ultra light oven, so it go only the base, rock stone. Uh, but yes, yeah, so curing is important and uh, just give it a couple of days. And uh, now we're gonna start, I'm uh, gonna let you know, we're gonna bake some pizza later, we're gonna see how long it's gonna take, now it's still zero, we just light up now the oven, and we'll check how long it's gonna take to read, this one should be quite fast to read, and uh, we give update on the next few hours. Is the oven reached 400 degrees, as it, it's kind of 11.30, 11.24, so it takes me an hour, an hour and a half to read, it's good timing. To compare also the is the oven is still new now we're gonna bake a pizza so we want to see if the the base is gonna be hot enough sometimes it might take a longer if it shows 400 degrees but it's a new stone bake so uh we're gonna test i believe it's gonna cook it it's gonna make a pizza right now i will see the result you can see look i want to show you first before making the pizza look the worry down peter here it's completely changed uh, what I used to be here before. It's really, really nice. I'm very impressed with what Peter does in the little shed. It's absolutely well made it. So well done for Peter. And now we're gonna make the pizza. I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah. The sauce here, the spoon is a bit big. We need to probably be smaller spoon. In this Peter is training with me okay now let's go pizza peel. okay let's go straight to the oven now so the those pizza peel the quite they should be a bit longer because you can't get burned so you need to buy longer handle but the oven it seems uh, seems okay cooking and obviously after we're gonna cook three four five pizza to see if we keep the temperature it starts to burn as well You can see the base is not bad, it's hot with 400 degrees, but it's cooked nicely. Always very important to check the bottom of the pizza, shows you already the temperature of the, the oven. Definitely, it's not great pizza uh, rotate this because. We need to buy better than this, but it's okay for today. Now you can see right, right at the bottom. Yeah, you're gonna burn your hand with just a little low. And now oh, it's is ready. It cooks quite fast as well, the base is okay. And now we're gonna try to cook a few pizzas, see if we keep the temperature. Of course, we're gonna add some logs eventually, but it quite keep the temperature nice. Show the temperature of your 
just a moment there. Um, okay. And now we're gonna keep cooking. Okay. We've done probably around 30 pizzas this morning with pizza. Um, what all the issue with this ultra light oven? Obviously, I know the, the drop temperature very quickly. So after one two pizza, it's dropped dramatically down the temperature. So you need to keep an eye having logs and checking the, the base because that's the little issue of ultralight oven. So the temperature is dropping a little quickly. But overall, we managed to cook how many? 30 pizzas today. Mm -hmm. And um, so it does the job. It's, not the job. it's a good machine to start your own business. Um, we're happy. We, we cook, it cooks nicely. It, the time to rate is to take an hour and a half for now. Maybe in the future when the the basis dries up more, maybe even less, but it's fast. Uh, just you need to keep an eye on all the, the, the logs adding constantly. And uh, you cook your pizza, guys. So leave a comment below if you have any question about this oven or about any ultralight oven or any oven generally. Because uh, just remember when it's new, obviously, that's not the point, it's new. So the, the base still got some moisture inside, so it needs to dry up. Also, I want to show you what it done, Peter. I make all these extension, like I used to do as well. So I was concerned about the expiration, but it's, look, it's no smoke. It's doing okay. The expiration is okay. It's nice and hot. Uh, the oven it, it keeping it, it make the job. So guys, I forgot to say the best way to to read quicker this type of oven because go holes here. So put back the door. Uh, we notice the, the reach back the temperature very quickly. So if it's happened to you, if you got this ultralight oven, uh, you got the temperature dropping so quickly. So you need to probably stop for a couple of minutes, put the door back on. It's not gonna die the fire because it's all the oil, so it's gonna go the flow with the hair. And the temperature is gonna go back as a normal temperature to 400 in probably in five minutes. So that's the good things. Keep an eye. So if you got the problems, they're dropping too much. Put the door in and the oven's gonna back in the temperature again. Thank you.